Well, good morning. I have to say I only waited a full 10 months to get a fully fitted sweater that looks great from <laughs> Thank you. I am proudly wearing my SDCCE sweater today, and it's beautiful. Uh, Back to the Future, the theme is so fitting in many ways. Thank you so much for all of your hard work, Carla, um, and I'll say a little more about that. Um, it's so beautiful to be here with you all today to celebrate and honor you, the most dedicated, hardest working, and committed classified professionals in the region. And I mean that when I say that in the region. Uh, we cover the region in seven different campuses. And so while most of our classified professionals at other campuses have the, uh, the work at one campus, a lot of the work you do requires you to float to different campuses, to come to ECC, to where many of the events are, ho at, are hosted. And so it really takes a lot of commitment to work at an institution as great as ours. But, you all are, we are so fortunate to have you all. Um, as you know, this is my first classified appreciation week and my first star conference as president here at the college. I did get the opportunity to join you all last year. Do you all remember I joined virtually really quickly? I joined in. Um, I had not officially started, but it was important for me to see some of the faces, although by square, um, but it was a great opportunity to join you all uh, virtually. So as you all know, for many of our students, the College of Continuing Education is their first opportunity for them to pursue or even to complete their high school diploma, to pursue their English learning, uh, English language acquisition, or even for them to pursue higher education. And as Carla shared, it really is our classified professionals who help them make that decision. I cannot thank you all enough for your hard work. It is because of you all that our enrollment is now at 15,572 students. <clears throat> before the students get into the classroom, they see you all in some way, shape, or form. Uh, before they get a chance to see their faculty members, before they get an opportunity to learn about our basic needs, our basic cares, they see our classified professionals, be it by the hallways, be it by helping them with registering, by helping them with their computers, by helping them even navigate the online platforms. They see you all. And so for that, I have to say thank you for all that you do to support us with enrollment. And we don't spend enough time thanking our classified professionals. I also would be remiss if I did not say you have a mighty leadership team that is advocating for you every single time we meet. Sometimes too much, but I can never say <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I want to say it. Thank you so much to our classified, pres classified Senate President, Neil Covert. Please stand up. <clears throat> please stand up. <laughs> Neil, please stand up. <laughs> Um, and I, I like to say, um, who is almost like a mother queen, if you've ever had the opportunity to go to Ghana, which I have not, but what I hear in Ghana, in Africa, um, the women of the village who are considered those that have given birth to the village, those who have groomed the village, those who have loved the village in time of needs are considered mother queens. And for that, I'd like to ask your classified Senate Vice President, Esther Anthony Thomas, uh, to stand up and be acknowledged. <laughs> Thank you both um, so much. They are um, amazing. And the rest of the leadership team, um, all of you are amazing. The Classified Senate leadership team, uh, they come into all of the meetings in addition to the work that they have to do because they also have jobs at the college. They still come to our executive president's cabinet meetings and meet with us our executive governance council meetings and meet with us. They attend district governance council and they are always advocating for our classified Senate professionals. They're also always advocating so that the other colleges and the district leadership fully understands what it's like to be a classified professional at the San Diego College of Continuing Education. And so for that, I also would like to say thank you for your partnership. I had, could not have been as successful as I have been this past year as the president without your partnership, and I truly appreciate you both, as well as the rest of the leadership team, so thank you. Thank you. 
And now I would like to say thank you to our facilities team, our maintenance. Uh, thank you to all of those who have prepared such a beautiful uh, day. Thank you to our communications and creative team who is here to support the day. And most of all, thank you so much to Carla Grossini Concha. Stand up, Carla. You stand up, Carla. <laughs> She's like, I can't. <laughs> That's OK. <laughs> but if you like. Oh, it, Carla, I just wanted to say and thank you so much for everything. We are so lucky that we were able to steal you from Mesa College. I say that with pride, um, but it is not a steal because you're still in the family of the district. But um, you have done such a beautiful job in such a short time, and it is very clear that you have your heart here with the college. But more than ever, you also really represent our classified professionals. So thank you um, for all of your work and for today. It looks lovely out there. As many of you may know, I too once was a classified professional. I started off as an hourly employee, and then I was a classified professional for about three to four years. And it was a very rewarding job, but oftentimes we just don't get enough recognition as classified professionals. And so it is always going to be at the forefront of my leadership to make sure that you all feel seen, valued, and heard. And so while I don't have the opportunity to go to all of the campuses, Please know that you're always in our thoughts. I'm never um, definitive on a stance. I will always go back and negotiate with your leadership team when it's necessary to make sure that our classified professionals are represented well. And last and um, never least, I'd like to also thank our leadership team, um, our executive assistant to the president, Didi, who is phenomenal. Um, she, you talk about a glue to something, she is truly our glue. I also like to say thank you so much to Vice President Sabanos because she too is always advocating for our college, for our classified professionals. Thank you to our interim Vice President of Instruction, Dr. Minu Spradley, um, who is not here, but she is always in the space with you all, Dr. Shakira Carter. Thank you to our Vice President of Student Services for all of her support to our classified professionals, our deans who are not here. Some of them, most of them, you know, some of them are at the, well, they're at the campuses so we could all be here. That's right. So thank you to them and um, to our interim PIO for all of his support to support our classified professionals, our students, et cetera. So I'd like to thank the full team. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'm so glad to be here to celebrate you all. I look forward to continuing the celebration next week at our class while we celebrate classified administration administrators professionals week. I will be making a special appearance at all of the campuses and leaving some goodies for you all to have for the rest of the week. But thank you so much for everything that you do to support our students.